Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to do a video to figure out what type of boyfriend Han will be like, which he is the second person that was randomly picked for Stray Kids. So I'm not going in age order. I'm going in a randomized order and he was next. So here we are. So let's figure out what type of boyfriend Han will be like. So the very, very, very first thing that came to my mind was sheep in clothes, you know, what is it called? Wolf in sheep's clothing. And that's because we got a lamb and then we got a wolf. And there's no sheep card in this deck, so the lamb is pr pr pretty close. First of all, we have two earth elements right here with the lamb and the wolf. He is a pack animal, bro. He is someone that cares about his group of people. Whoever is in his close circles, or who, in this case, whoever he's dating, he will really take care of them. He will be next to them. He will support them. And he will introduce this person to his group of friends or his close group of circle. Wait, what? Or the people that are in his close circles. Um, he may be very good at networking or he has or he is very sociable So if that's the case whoever he's dating will meet all of the people that he socializes with They will become part of his network if that makes sense Now with the lamb there is a sense that he can be quite naive. He can be very honest uh, quite pure um, I do feel that he can be easily fooled but i think it's not necessarily in a detrimental way as much as like he can be a bit absent-minded or a bit aloof with this lamb energy i do feel like he has like this light-hearted lucky go lucky type of thing <laughs> like he has a very he has a lot of energy or he tends to try to stay happy there's also this sense of like ignorance is bliss so he doesn't dig too much into things. He doesn't like to pride on people's like personal, private life. It's kind of like he prefers to just get to know someone rather than listen to rumors and gossip of people. I don't know why that's coming up, honestly. Anyway, but with the earth element, there's a sense of like he's very stable. He's grounded. He's rooted. There's a sense of like he follows his traditions or he's very close to his ancestors. Like that randomly came up as well. Like I don't know where that's coming from. I think because I was thinking of like roots. So maybe generational stuff is coming through. Um, yeah. But now with the wolf thing. He is someone that likes to travel in packs. He likes to be surrounded by people. He likes to go with his group. He likes to hang out with friends constantly. There's a sense of like he likes to socialize with people a lot or be surrounded by a bunch of people. Also with the wolf, we do have orange and yellow being kind of like the highlight here. So that makes me think of the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. And that shows that he is with a solar plexus is usually very optimistic, he's usually confident and very creative. So he likes to just kind of enjoy his time, have fun. And with the sacral chakra, it shows that he is very driven, he's motivated, and it randomly came up as well. He may have a high libido, and that's a, well, I don't know, I don't know why that came up, but that came up. Um, and I'll say this thing, he may want to have a lot of children, because you know how wolves have litters, or like, they have multiple babies at once? So he may want to have a big family. Now let's look at his oracle. So we have new moon in Scorpio with work through your fears. We have a new moon in Libra with a new romantic cycle begins. We have void of course moon with nothing will come of the situation. And then we have south node with don't let your past hold you back. One thing that I'm getting is that he has baggage and romance. Because these two cards right here made me think that if he doesn't get rid of... Oh well, I guess that one too. If he doesn't get rid of the issues that he had in previous relationships, it will continue affecting 
any future ones that future opportunities that may enter his life so what i mean by that is that even if he doesn't date right now anyone new if he doesn't let go of fears doubts insecurities or baggage from previous relationships then he will not be able to even take off anything new so if an opportunity or a new romantic interest enters his life there's so much baggage that he's still holding on to that it will be very complicated for him to start a new relationship so he needs to bring himself into balance he needs to like recenter himself recalibrate <laughs> put himself back into alignment before he can start a relationship now with uh, work through your fears with this new moon in scorpio one of the things that he needs to work on is allowing his abundance to go through and i'm saying that because we have the emperor but it's number three so it's actually the empress energy here um he needs to be in this meditative state and like kind of cleanse his energy heal what has to be healed let go of any negative energy and any baggage any burdens so like that he can bring himself into abundance and bring in this energy of fulfillment this energy of beauty and confidence I saw in the distance like a spider web not in real life but like I I saw something shining in the corner of my eye and it made me think of a spider web so one thing that he needs to work on is on his networks his connections so this card will be connected to Venus energy something about bringing beautiful things into his life or falling in love with life again Maybe even falling in love with the idea of love. Indulging in luxuries and comforts in life. There's a sense of like, he needs to not feel guilty about success or not feel guilty about achieving his goals. Also, something about not feeling guilty about just enjoying life. Like, if he wants to buy himself the best snacks in the world, go for it. No shame in that. Or if he wants in, to indulge in like material things, go for it. If that makes him happy and it's not hurting anyone, he can go ahead and do it. So with this energy right here, there's this sense of like right now he's kind of healing himself and working on himself. Or he should be doing that or else it doesn't matter who enters his life or who becomes a potential romantic interest. It's not going to work out. Like this, per like whoever enters his life could be like the perfect person, the perfect match for him. But since he still has to work through his fears, he may feel like he's not worthy enough to be with this person, and it will just fall the relationship will just fall apart. Next, we have the Two of Swords reverse. So upright, the Two of Swords talks about making decisions, being in between option A, option B. And being underneath a new cycle, romantic cycle begins and the two of swords being reversed. I do feel that he doesn't know his options. Maybe he doesn't even realize that there's a potential romantic interest out there for him. Or he's so overwhelmed with problems and issues or he's so out of balance that he is not even in the right mind to make any sort of decision. So... Either he's in between two options of potential romantic interests or there's so much healing that he has to do. He needs to relax. He needs to meditate. Work on believing in his abundance or not feeling guilty about his abundance. So like that, he, he could be in a good enough position to make the decision of either falling in love and pursuing it or not. That could also be like the decision he's on. Like maybe he doesn't even realize that there's an option here. Also, these two cards make me think about being in balance or putting two things on a scale. So there's this sense of like his mind is not clear enough to have the discernment necessary to know who's good for him and who's not good for him. And who he will benefit from being in a relationship and and not and when i mean benefit is like being in a serious romantic relationship and not something casual that's gonna fall apart 
And even though there's nothing wrong with having casual relationships, I do feel that he, since he's not in a good place, having a casual relationship could just bring unnecessary issues and baggage and just create an unstable connection with someone that is... Or create a connection with someone that doesn't have a strong enough foundation for it to even work. So it would just be kind of like a waste of energy. Yeah. Well, talking about balance, we have a two of pentacles reversed. This tells me that he needs to work on his time management. He needs to work on bringing balance between different areas of his life. I do feel that in this case, it's not even about his work or his career. It could be, though, because pentacles does talk about career. I think this is more about finding balance between himself, like his person, his values, his beliefs, his healing. Bring that area of his life into balance. And then he will be able to have a healthy, balanced relationship when it comes to external relationships. So it's kind of like work on himself, bring that, bring healing to that part of him. And then he will, when that area is okay, he will be able to put into balance his external relationships as well. Well, we kind of already know that he's going through it. But let's talk about what type of boyfriend he will be though. He is someone that will bring a lot of love and abundance to whoever he's with. He is someone that when he makes a decision that he has found a romantic person, he stays with them. He's someone that wants to bring balance and harmony to whoever he's with. He is someone that will constantly grow and improve as a person even after he's dating. Like He doesn't confirm, conform to being only one person thing in his life he wants to always grow as a person and this nothing will come of the situation void of course moon makes me think that he is someone that doesn't give up easily he is someone that doesn't mind deviating from the normal or going out of conventions or going down um, a certain path so that he, he could take a detour It's kind of like if he's pursuing a goal, he doesn't mind going through a detour so that he can heal whatever has to heal or close a cycle and then continue working towards his goals. Like he doesn't mind taking breaks, if that makes sense. Also, I feel that right now his judgment is very clouded. He's still healing. He's still working in understanding himself. So he may make it, he may find it difficult to find what his options are. He may feel like he's just stuck in one position in one path but the moment that he's able to see um his opportunities in the paths available to him then maybe he will be able to bring himself a bit more into balance there is something that he needs to prioritize that he's forgetting about and i think it's himself he needs to work on himself a bit more i think there's some baggage here that he is ignoring because he's working I don't think, and I also, he may not even realize that there's some fears and baggage he has to work through as well. So the one he recognizes it, he might be able to bring himself into balance. But right now, it's not a very good idea for he for him to be in a relationship. I do feel that the saying that we got earlier of a sheep and a wolf in sheep's clothing, there is a sense that. On the outside, it may seem like he has it together, but in the inside, there's still a lot of pain. There's a lot of wounds and healing that he has to go through. Yeah, this death card reverse makes me think that there's a transformation he has put on hold. Or he's resisting. And that will make it very hard for him to be in a relationship. He likes to be surrounded by people. So if that's the case, when it comes to romance, he may also enjoy being in romantic relationships. But there's some healing that he has to work through or he will just continue piling on all of this baggage. But don't let your past hold you back. Is this whole idea of releasing negativity, working through his fears, healing, doing some shadow work. Maybe even meditating to understand himself better, like having his own space in his... In, Bringing himself the time to think clearly or 
focusing on himself a bit more. This death card reverse tells me that he hasn't gone through his phoenix moment. So he hasn't gone through the process of letting go of fears, doubts, and release all of that negativity in order to have this rebirth of this new person becoming this new him that has this newfound knowledge from the experiences of the pain that he experienced when releasing all of this negativity. So this south note tells me that he's kind of stuck in his ways right now. He finds it very difficult to be to to heal because he hasn't given himself the time though. But when it comes to what type of orphan he will be though, I do feel that he is someone that doesn't mind trying new things. He doesn't mind exploring new ways of doing things or going on trips or he doesn't mind taking a break once in a while. Even though he's not doing that right now, I think he really should take a break so he can like center himself back again. But I do like how should I put it? I do feel that right now he's in he's not in a good place. However, he is a very wonderful person because that lamb card and the wolf one, it makes me think that he's extremely loyal. It makes me think that he's very honest, he's very pure, and he genuinely wants a healthy, happy relationship. However, right now he will be either too codependent or he will be uh, in so much pain that he won't be able to put the appropriate attention and energy into a romantic relationship. Again, there's so many, there's so much baggage that it could create a lot of insecurities that could get in the way of a romantic relationship. He's just not necessarily ready to start being in a partnership. I hope you guys like this reading. It seems like Han is going through a very difficult period in his life. He does need a bit of silence and listen to himself, like his inner voice, listen to his fears, his doubts, and try to understand where they're coming from. And the moment he kind of like heals that, he will be in a bit more of a stable enough position to start dating. I do feel that um, usually with this type of readings, we get a couple different things. We get the state of the idol's love affair we get what type of partner the idol wants or sometimes we get what type of partner the idol will be which is like the whole point of this reading right but for him it's like we're getting like what state he is in romance and i do feel that he should work on some self-love I, okay look i don't think that he has no confidence or that he doesn't love himself but i do feel that there's some baggage that he's ignoring. I don't know how aware he is of this though. Like I don't know how conscious he is that he's avoiding this or resisting this. Because he could be in the stage where he's like, why don't romantic relationships work? What's going on? Um, but if he were to like take a step back and see the bigger picture, he might be able to like realize that um, there's baggage he needs to let go of. Because if he doesn't let go of it, insecurities will continue rising and getting in the way of his relationships. But aside from that, we did get to see that he has a lot of potential of being, like, a great partner. Like, there's a lot of, like, loyalty here. There's a lot of things about, like, he knows how to work with people. He enjoys being surrounded by people. He is very happy. He is genuine. He wants partnership. He does. Because we have two... We have two twos. <laughs> And two does talk about partnerships. Or it could. Hey, there's a lot of cards here that shows that he looks forward to romantic relationships. There's just healing that has to be done before he can be prepared for one though. Anyway, I hope that you guys learned from this or at least found it entertaining. I will see you guys in the next one. Whenever that is, however that is. Love and healing from my part to you. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.